Hello guys, my name is Coding Vampire. Question number 14. Assuming that there are 7.481 gallons in a cubic foot, write a program that asks the user to enter the number of gallons and then display the equivalent in cubic feet. Sorry, it would be cubic foot. Okay. So in this program, we have to ask the user to enter the number of gallon and have we have to display how many cubic foot that that amount of gallon would occupy so in this program we will accept the number of gallon and it will divide it by 7.481 basic it is basic mathematics so i'll write the program hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h then void main clear screen now I'll keep declare a variable float gallon gal comma cubic now I'll display on the screen C out less than less than enter the number of gallons slash n followed by a semicolon C in greater than greater than gal now I have to calculate how much cubic foot that amount of gallon would occupy cubic is equal to gal by 7 point four eight one followed by semicolon c out less than less than the number of the cubic foot cubic foot occupied by the by the less than less than gal is less than less than cubic so in this statement the compiler will display the cubic foot occupied by the and whatever there is in the memory memory location gal then it will display is and finally the answer I'll write get ch I'll close the program I'll compile it I'll run the program enter the number of gallons for example 21.480 okay so the cubic foot occupied by 21.48 is 2.871 okay so now you can see that here uh, if I want to go to a new line I am using slash n there is an alternative method if you want to go to a new line I'll remove the slash n and I'll write less than less than and l so nl is also used to go to a new line I'll compile the program I'll run it now see that the cursor is blinking in the next line ok I'll enter question number 15 find the area of the following here is a table uh, in which in one of the column is shape and the formula to find the area of the shape the first is rectangle L star B it is similar to find the product of two numbers now triangle triangle area of triangle is half star base star height ok we will write this program
I'll write a command find the area of a file angle now include the header file iostream.h dot h void name clear screen now I'll declare a variable int okay I'll keep the data type float base comma height c out less than less than enter enter the value of base and height enter the length of base and height length of base and height go to a new line I'll close the string followed by a semicolon now I want you to write a comment which character is by default added to a string ok now c greater than greater than b greater than greater than h and I'll use uh, memory location for answer and I'm initializing this answer to 0 so this is an initialized variable but whereas base and height are not initialized now answer is equal to instead of half half is also equivalent to 0 0.5 star base star height c out area of the triangle is less than less than answer get ch and I'll close the program now compile it run the program enter the length 34 23 so the area of triangle is 391 Now to find the area of a square you can do this by your own Trapezium is also easy, rhombus is also easy Now circle, in this we will learn a new concept Find the area of circle Now include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h then void name clear screen now I'll write float r r is the radius now you can see there is a, a constant pi and its value is 3.14 and its value cannot be changed so we'll write const float pi is equal to 3.14 now in in this statement wait let me open paint in this statement there is a memory location called r and a location called pi name of this location is r name of this location is pi they are of data type flow but in pi the value is 3.14 and you can see there is a keyword const we have used in the statement which means that you cannot change the value of the variable 
so I'll write a single line command pi is a variable whose value cannot be changed during the execution of the program so now you know what does this statement mean const float pi is equal to 3.14 now we'll calculate the answer I'll declare one more variable called answer and I'll initialize it to 0 now you can see answer is not a constant value it value can be changed during the execution of the program since it does not have a keyword constant now answer is equal to pi star r r raised to the power 2 means you have to multiply r two times see out area of the circle is less than less than answer followed by semicolon get ch and close the program okay area of the circle is what the hell is happening here answer is equal to pi star pi oh i'm not accepting the value of radius so it is displaying me any garbage value see out enter the value of radius less than less than end l c in greater than greater than r now i'll run the program enter the value of radius i'll say 2 so the area of circle is 12.56 so find the following so here we have four column shapes CSS stand for curve surface area TSA stand for total surface area and volume so cube the formula to find the to curve surface area of cube is 4 a raised to the power 2 so these are all easy which you can do these by yourself so I'll move on to question number 17 write a program to print floating point number in exponent form example we have a number 15,000 we have to write it in an exponent form we will write this program instead I'll go to file no I don't want to save new now include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h then we'll write void main uh, you do not write a semicolon after void main then clear screen now we have to display it in the form of okay so I'll write a statement float a is equal to 1.5 capital E 4 followed by a semicolon now see out value of a is less than less than a get ch and close the program so the value of a is 15000 so can you tell me what would be the output of when i'll write a is equal to 2 4 point e to the power 
one so what would be the output just pause the video i'll compile the program so the answer is 242 it's not necessary that power can be positive you can keep the power negative as well suppose i'll keep the power minus 2 now i'll run the program so the value of a is 0 0.242 so we have completed the chapter getting started with c++ as always i will see you guys in the next tutorial